Okay, in this hopefully quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this. This is an effect that I made called Magnify, and what it does is what it says on the tin basically, it magnifies an area of your screen so that you can use it to emphasize a particular thing. I've got this set up as a macro. I'm not going to show you how to make the macro in this tutorial because it will take too long. What I will do is I will put this file onto my Buy Me A Coffee page so you can head over there and pick it up if you want it. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the effect off the clip and I'm going to go into Fusion with this clip. You can do it with any clip, it doesn't matter what you're on. Um, so you start off very basically with your media in and your media out. So this is what's coming in, the footage, and then this goes back to the timeline. What we need to do is build the effect between these two. So the first thing we're going to do is come to our hotbar and grab a transform node and drop it onto our node graph. Take the output from your media in or a second output from your media in and connect it to your transform node. And we're going to bring an ellipse in and we're going to connect that to the mask of the transform node. What that means now is if we use the transform to resize it's only going to affect is in the viewer it's only going to affect whatever's inside the ellipse and that's how you get your sort of magnify effect next we're going to select the ellipse we're going to come to the pin at the top and just hit the pin so that the ellipse stays in view we're going to come to transform select it and now you have transform settings at the top and ellipse at the bottom Come to your transform and come to pivot, right click, expression, and you get this expression box with the plus sign. Grab and hold the plus sign and drop it on the center of the ellipse settings. What you've now done is tied the pivot point, i.e. where the magnification happens from, on your transform node to the center of your ellipse. So wherever you put your ellipse now, and then zoom, it will zoom at that point, like so. So that's your basic magnifier. What I then did was I put a border around this ellipse. To do that, select your ellipse, press Command C to copy, and then click away and Shift Command and V. To paste this paste is an instance of your ellipse what that means is whatever you do to your ellipse will happen to the instance so if you resize it or reposition it the instance will mirror it what we need to do so this is our instance ellipse settings here what we need to do is de-instance a couple of the settings if you look this is a feature of 17.2 uh, that I love you can see at a glance everything that's tied together so anything that's got a green box around it for a value at least is instanced or tied to this ellipse unfortunately they don't do it for these kind of settings which would be handy but anyway can't have everything so what we know is we want to tie this ellipse to a background node so if we come to our hotbar bring in a background and then take the output of your instance ellipse into your background. What you end up with is this circle. What we want is just the outline. So come back to your instance ellipse, right click on the word solid and select de instance. Now we can use this solid independently. You're also going to right click on the word border width and de instance that as well. Now you see the green box is gone so we know that we can work independently with this and if you just come up to about 0 0.01 that gives you your border go 
into your background and make it whatever color you want. Let me just unpin that because it's annoying me. What we need to do now is merge our circle over our magnify area. So take the output of your background, drop it onto the output of the transform, which creates a merge node. And we now get this effect where we can go into the transform, resize it, and we have it in this little circle. What you do next is you will take the output of this merge node and we're going to drop it back onto the output of the media in and this creates another merge node and now we have our effect. So we will control the position with the ellipse and the magnification point and the ring all come with it because they're all tied to the ellipse. And then we can use our transform node to adjust how much magnification we've got. What you can do with your ellipse node, and this is optional, I like it as a circle, although at the minute we can make it an ellipse if you so desire. Um, what I did with mine is I tied the height and width together so that it stayed a circle. To tie them together, make sure your ellipse is selected, come to your controls, to the word height, right click, expression, and you get your expression and your plus sign again. Grab the plus sign and drop it on width. And then the height will stay the same as the width, and all you need to do is bring your width down. And you can make your circle as big or as little as you want. The only other thing I did differently is I added an extra step. So select merge one, shift space bar, and type dent. This does this basically. And you can fiddle around with the size and the strength to get the desired kind of effect just so you get a sort of slight distortion with your magnifier like so and obviously what we need to do now is tie the center of this to our ellipse so again come to your ellipse pin it go back to your dent look for center right click expression grab your little plus sign and drop it on the center and now you can see your dent in the middle. We can bring this size up so that it matches our circle. Again, we can tie size with an expression to width of our ellipse. So that again, if we change our ellipse, our distortion will change with it and stay within the frame. So once you've done all that, you can come to dent and you can unpin that because it's annoying me. There, go to dent and you can play with the strength to get the kind of amount of distortion that you want. You can also change the type of dent that you've got. I can't remember which one, I think I used that one. And just put a little bit of... Let's say this is all optional, this last bit. You don't need to put the dent on at all. Uh, but if you want to, you've got the option. So one last thing to note, um, I was quite happily dragging this around the screen on the edit tab. Um, I'm able to do that because I've got fusion overlays turned on in this drop down menu. So if you come to the bottom left of your viewer, you've got your drop down. By default it's on transform and is off so you've got no um, controls on your screen. Hit the arrow come down to fusion overlay select it it will turn it on automatically and then you can drag around rather than using the position 
values up here. Um, that's it. I hope you found it useful. Um, as I say, what I'll do is I will um, put the file for this magnify on my buy me a coffee page uh, and you've got it to hand then if you want it. Cool. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.